All right, so the math dealer here, and today I'm going to do a little quick video on finding the second derivative using implicit differentiation. Yes, this totally is a 100% shout out to my AP Calc kids. Okay, so here we go. X squared plus 4Y squared equals 1. First thing is, of course, you're going to take its derivative. Now, if you've been sitting in my class for even just a hot minute, you know how to do at least the first derivative, I hope and pray. If not, by the way, you just basically are kicking out the derivative. So derivative of x squared is 2x, that's your power rule. Derivative of 4y squared is 8y, but then like we said in class, don't forget you have to multiply it by dy dx. You could also call dy dx y prime. Don't be scared if I kick over to that, but that's what you can do. All right, so now mission in life, get dy dx by itself. You can do this. It's not a tough mission, just a mission that needs to be accomplished. All right, so what did I do? Well, I brought the 2x over, and then, of course, I divided by 8y. Okay, if this is a little bit going fast, oh, guess what you could do? Pause this and go back. I know, crazy thought. So that's going to give me dy dx is actually equal to negative x over 4y. All right, so you're not too scared about that, all right? I know this little dy dx thing is a little sloppy, but you'll get used to it. All right, now, here we go. Now I have to go and take the derivative again. And that's hence the reason why it's saying, by the way, take the second derivative. Now, here's a fun fact. This guy right here is the quotient rule. So remember the rule and the quotient rule. You take your denominator, you throw it in the bottom, you square it, you throw it back up top so you don't forget about it. And then, of course, you take the derivative of the numerator. Well, the derivative of negative x, of course, is just negative 1. So you're like, okay, well, that's not so bad. All right, let me make this screen a little bigger. Good times. All right, then we go minus because, remember, it's u prime v minus v prime u over v squared. Right? That's our whole little derivative of a, a quotient. Hopefully you remember that. Okay, now I have to take the derivative of the denominator. Now, here's the tricky part. The derivative of 4y is 4 times dy dx. True statement? Because remember, derivative of y is dy dx, and that's what this thing is. Okay, so this was the derivative of the y. Okay, um, then we also, of course, have to multiply it by the first, I mean the top. And the top was negative x. Okay, so you're like, okay, well, all right, dealer, I got this, but now what, right? Well, remember, fun little fact, we actually know what dy dx is. dy dx is actually negative x over 4y. So I can substitute that in. So I'm left with negative 4y, because we can do math. You've seen pictures, right? Negative times negative is a positive, so I'm not scared about that. Dy dx, like we said, was negative x over 4y. And then the whole thing, of course, is over 4y squared, also known as 16y squared. Now, clean up just a smidgen, nothing crazy, right? The 4s can cancel. That was exciting, very fun. And now you have negative 4y minus x squared over y over 16y squared. Now, honestly, if I'm going to simplify as much as possible, like it says, I'm totally kicking out that denominator by multiplying the top and bottom by the y, right? You've seen these pictures before. So I get negative 4y squared. And then, of course, when I multiply this thing through, I get negative x squared. And then the denominator, of course, is 16y cubed. So that right there, that expression, negative 4y squared minus x squared over 16y cubed is the solution. All right. And please, please, please note that this can come in many shapes and sizes. Let's go back to my green. That's a little Christmassy. I could factor out a negative and I'm left with 4y squared plus x squared sitting over 16y cubed. That's one choice for the answers. Okay. Or like I said, you could just leave it with the negative in the numerator. All right, so this is the math dealer signing out. I really hope this was helpful.